goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this will probably be the quickest, easiest way to remove the mods from the game files so you can go ahead and play online, all right? So this one right here is created by Gang1111. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this download page, always read the full description. There's a lot of important information in here. And after you get done reading this full description, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download, all right? Now, as of uh, requirements, there is no requirements exactly for this. It's only the game, you know what I mean? Because this is an application that runs on its own. So you will just need the game pretty much, all right? So once you have your GTA 5 mod remove tool downloaded, so it's something like this on my left hand side i have one download which is the gta 5 mod remove tool and on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go let's go ahead and open up our gta 5 mod remove tool folder inside that folder we are going to see a readme text document and you will see the gta 5 mod remove tool application let's go ahead and double click on this application select yes for uh, user control uh, user account control or whatever give it a couple of seconds and it will open up this little window right here all right now let's go ahead and get into everything that's up here at the top first the first thing you have is your settings if you go inside your settings you have the option to uh, delete you know some settings or show settings in folders um, high list header which is going to be everything up here um, your game directory if you want to change it to another directory or whatnot you could also select a new path to do that and your whitelist directory you could also um, change that and put it to wherever you want it to as well just go ahead and select select new whitelist path all right uh, the next one over support if you need any support um, they do have a discord link here as well as a support homepage. all right the next thing over is whitelist when you select whitelist, it's going to open up this uh, new window right here, showing everything that is in your whitelist when you actually whitelist some scripts or mods. Um, you have another tab that says game files. When you select that, that's going to open up another window and show you just, you know, your game files that are in here. These are just the game files, no mods, no scripts, just the straightforward vanilla game files. All right. Um, over here, you have the option to refresh the list when you press that. You just wait and it's going to refresh everything in there now over here where it says um, all files and folders going to be a drop down menu so you actually have a chance to uh, select specific things that you want to remove okay so if you want only folders you can select only folders and it will just highlight only the folders that you have inside of your uh, directory you can go down and select only files. That's going to select all of the files, um, application files, .exes, XMLs, logs, uh, text documents, TXT, um, ASIs, .fx. Any file that's in there, it, it will go ahead and just highlight all of those files by itself. Um, and then if you go down the list, it has uh, more specifics like .asi. So if you have uh, ASI files, it'll highlight just the ASI files, um, DLL, .DLL, okay? And the list goes on to XML, any log, TXT, and EXC, all right? So once you selected whatever that you want to remove, um, as you can see, I selected the DLL. You want to select this option right here that says move all files or folders to whitelist, all right? Now, as you can see, I already opened up my whitelist box. Let's go ahead and select move all files folders to whitelist. And it's just actually moving everything in that list to the whitelist. All right. Now, after everything has been moved, you should get this little message right here saying GTA 5, my remove tool, your GTA folder is now clear. And it's just clear of what you have selected up here. If you wanted to remove all mods, you could do so um, that way as well. Now, if you look here in my whitelist folder right here, you will see everything that I just whitelisted. So I whitelisted all of my .dll um, files right here to my um, whitelist. Now, if you want to find uh, your whitelist, 
there's two ways you could do it you could go inside of settings right here select settings and you will see where your whitelist is located right here all right and the second way that you could do it also is um you know just going over here to your uh gta5 directory press the back the back key or wherever your gta5 is at and you should see another folder that says gta5 mod remove tool um, dash whitelist if you go inside there you are going to find everything that you just removed from your gta5 directory all right everything is simple in here um it's quite quick it depends on how much mods and scripts that you are removing from your directory that will determine how long um this process will take for you all right so if you wanted to put everything back into the game from your whitelist folder you can just go ahead and select this inside of the whitelist box in order to get to the whitelist box all you gotta do is select whitelist right here at the top and this little window will pop up and you can just select move all files or folders back to gta5 all right so let's go ahead and select move and as you can see everything is moving out of my gta5 mod remove tool folder and it's going back into my gta5 directory all right so now i have all of my dlls these are just a few of them right here that i'm highlighting but i have all of my dot dll files back into my gta5 directory and as you can see my whitelist is empty all right so this is uh pretty much easy and straightforward to use uh shout out to the creator again but um, yep, I would definitely suggest this for those of you that um, would like to remove mods to do, you know, for whatever reason to go online or just uh, make a clean version of the game so you can mod it over again. This is definitely a, a perfect tool for that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here. But if this helps y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in a modding GTA 5. Yo, this game is graphics. I'm out here till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.